Hey guys, James with Jetty USA and Esprit Tech. Wanted to get with you and talk about the CB200 power and signal distribution device. Uh, this is a fantastic option for those of you that run a little bit larger airplanes, but don't have a need quite yet for the CB400 in all of its size and complexity. Uh, the simple, or the unit's really nice and simple. It does give you some features from the 400, including dual battery redundancy and polyfused outputs uh, on the unit itself. It does feature the wireless programming, so it enables you to, to use the EXBOS system and program the unit through Device Explorer and the transmitter. Uh, it is available in three configurations. Uh, the first configuration is the Central Box 200 and a magnetic switch. Um, doesn't include any receivers in that setup. That takes for granted that you have your own receivers. You can also buy it with a magnetic switch and two R3 receivers. Allows you to unit right, use the unit right out of the box. Uh, the next step in that is to buy the Central Box 3, or 200 with three of the R3 receivers. That would give you two uh, R3s for receiver duty and one R3 to handle the wireless switching like what we have set up on this unit. Uh, wireless switching is uh, kind of a new thing. It's a jetty thing and a lot of guys are moving to that. It's been very popular. Uh, enables you to shut down the, the, the receiver and battery system from the radio without going up and having to pull a canopy and actually get access to the pack. So a lot of guys are really liking that. Uh, a couple of the cool features with the CB200 overrunning just a receiver and a second receiver in, like say in dual path uh, would be that battery redundancy and the fact that you're getting full battery telemetry, that's voltage, amperage, and capacity for both of your receiver packs. It will pull from the higher two packs you can also set individual alarms for each of the packs so you can monitor the health of those batteries. It does have polyfused outputs from pins 1 through 15. Those are your servo outputs, which means if you put a servo in bind, it'll overdraw that output, that polyfuse will fail, and the, you won't have power or signal being sent to that servo. It's really nice in a dual servo aileron setup where you have two servos on the same surface, Typically, if one of those fails without having that polyfusing, what happens is it fights the other one until it fails or until that dry battery gets drawn down and you go in. With this unit, not only will it pull power from that servo, but it'll send an alarm to the, to the transmitter to let you know that, hey, one of the fuses in the system is clipped. It'll tell you what channel it is. You can make the determination how quickly you have to get back to base and get that thing taken care of. Um, the other thing is the EX programming that makes this thing so great. In the transmitter, the unit's tied in through our device explorer. So simply go into the radio, go into the device explorer, log into the central box 300, and you can change all of the receiver outputs uh, or all of the pin output arrangement. Uh, gives you the ability to reconfigure ports 14 and 15 for telemetry if you're not using those for additional servo output. Uh, really makes it nice to dial in the system as well as setting up the alarms. All of that's done through the Device Explorer, directly through the transmitter. Uh, no PC, no extra cables. Right there in the aircraft, you can do it at the field at any time. Any uh, special programming that you've done through the transmitter uh, will show up, gets transmitted just like it would through a receiver. In this case, we're running a uh, small sequence just to give you an idea of how receiver it's working. Voltage. 7.38 It does give you full telemetry from the receivers and any sensors that you're plugged in sent back across your telemetry two, like nine. normal. Well, that's the Central Box 200 in a nutshell. If you have any questions, just reach out to us at Jetty USA. We'd be glad to help you out.